When most people think of New Hampshire, they usually think of the beautiful White Mountain Range. Endless hiking opportunities, the rocky terrain, and views that go on for miles and miles. Others might think of the seacoast area and the beautiful beaches. Some might dream about fishing in the brilliant blue waters just off the coast of New Hampshire. Away from the seacoast and white mountains, however, is another New Hampshire gem that's hidden in plain sight. Located in southern New Hampshire, along the Merrimack River is a small town known as Litchfield, New Hampshire. This small town has more to offer than beautiful farmlands and a golf course. It also has strong ties to many Native American tribes. Archaeologists have found evidence of over 30 Native American tribes along the banks of the Merrimack River. Most notable are the Natacooks, a branch of the Native American Penacook tribe. They were extremely skillful in agriculture and fishing and inhabited the land until 1656 when William Brenton, an early settler of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, was granted 8,000 acres of land across the river. He renamed the land Brenton's Farm and it included most of present-day Litchfield and the surrounding towns. A petition to be an independent town was signed by Achilla Underwood in 1734. Thus, present-day Litchfield was born. Litchfield was also a notable contributor to the American Revolutionary War, drafting 57 soldiers between the ages of 16 and 50, roughly 20% of the entire town's population at the time. Litchfield is not quick to forget their past with the Native American tribes, naming its golf course after Passaconaway, the Bashaba, or Chief of Chiefs, to many tribes including the Penacooks, Natacooks, Wamasits, and Pawtuckets. Passaconaway Golf Course resides on Natacook Avenue, one of Passaconaway's tribes, and the original name of Litchfield. Apart from the rich Native American history, it is also rumored that Litchfield was a stop on the Underground Railroad, providing shelter to fugitive slaves in the basement of this house, although it hasn't been confirmed. Today, Litchfield is most active during summer months. There are plenty of walking trails in town, including the Litchfield State Forest, Moores Falls Conservation Area, and more along the river. After a nice hike through the woods, it's worth a visit to the local farms to pick up some fresh fruit or pick some of your own. Another popular summer tourist attraction is Mel's Funway Park. The park offers mini golf, laser tag, go-karts, batting cages, driving range, an ice cream shop, and more. It's open every summer and is a local favorite. Perhaps even more popular is Nightmare New England, hosted at Mel's in the fall. Nightmare New England quickly became a favorite among locals and tourists alike and was deemed New England's largest and most terrifying horror scream park. This haunted attraction has many haunted houses and a mile-long haunted hayride through the spooky Litchfield woods. However, it doesn't have to be fall to catch some spine-chilling thrills. Like most small towns, Litchfield has its fair share of local legends, like the young boy who hunts Dara Pond on cool summer nights. Others speculate the town's elementary school has some mischievous spirits of its own, rearranging the desks and chairs in the classrooms after school hours. Many of the neighbors at Natacook Avenue have also experienced some spooky encounters of their own, reporting common household items disappearing and reappearing in different locations. Others in the neighborhood have claimed to see an apparition of a woman along the streets. Whether you're a hiking enthusiast, history buff, or ghost hunter, Litchfield, New Hampshire has something to offer for everyone.